7 o'clock. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to call the meeting of the Finance Committee to order on April 20th, 2022. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Klee? Here. Alderman Camo is here. Alderman Gavea? Here. Alderman Clemens? Here. Alderman Timmons? Here. Alderman Moran? Uh, I am here. I'm on Zoom. Um, I have a, my wife has a prior commitment, so I'm home watching my children. They're the only two people in the, the house besides me. All right, thank you. Have we gotten everyone? We do. Everyone is here. All right, and because Alderman Moran is via Zoom, we're going to have to do votes by roll call. Um, <clears throat> public comment. Is there any member of the public that wishes to address the committee? Communications. Kelly Parkinson, purchasing manager, is number one. Uh, Alderman Camo. Yes, thank you. I'd like to make a motion to accept, place on file, and award a multi-contract to hire a consultant to better understand the new rules and regulations and how they apply to the ARPA money provided by the U.S. Treasury to iParametrics in an amount not to exceed $200,000. Funding through Department 183, Economic Development Fund 53142, Consulting Services, ARPA grant funding through uh, via roll call. Mr. Cummings? <clears throat> Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and through you to the committee, Tim Cummings, Director of Economic Development, I'm here before you to ask for your uh, uh, approval on the uh, contract, uh, which is a multi-year contract that I'm hoping that will be approved by the Board of Aldermen as well. It's for $200,000. This is not um, city taxpayer money coming from the property tax. This is going to be $200,000 that's taken from the just a little more than $16 million that were given to the city through the quote-unquote ARPA program. Um, what we want to use this money for is twofold. One, to help with developing a plan and to make sure that that plan is, is technically compliant with the new rules and regulations promulgated for the ARPA program. And then from a compliance perspective, uh, help to make sure we're doing the reporting appropriately to the federal government um, relative to, to the uh, paperwork and, and, and compliance that uh, goes along hand in hand with this with this money. We, sit up, we s submitted an RFP. We got a healthy response from, ver uh, from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. about eight uh, responses. Uh, there was an internal committee uh, with finance, uh, with the Division of Finance, with the Division of Administrative Services, community development and economic development all got together. We interviewed three. Um, three of the respondents, ultimately, it was the uh, decision to select I paramedic, uh, Parametrics, which is why we have that contract before you this evening. Um, I know at a prior meeting, this was on the agenda, there were some questions that centered around why we were doing this, uh, just to address those questions. Um, really, it was from a compliance perspective, wanting to make sure we dot our I's, cross our T's, do everything appropriately with this new program. Um, and it is coming from uh, from the federal stimulus funding that came about due to COVID-19. Um, this is a program that um, the state is the beneficiary of, along with five other or so, approximately five other or so, quote unquote, enti entitlement communities, which Nashua happens to be one of them, which is why we're a direct recipient of approximately $16 million. And we will be um, looking forward to, to uh, moving forward with a plan um, I had a robust dialogue with the Board of Aldermen last summer. Um, there's a web page dedicated to this program on our website um, where we're uh, trying to explain how we are trying to go about uh, using the opera monies. No, nothing has been decided of yet. Once we actually have the consultant on board and they can uh, help us uh, vet and develop some of the concepts we've discussed previously, <coughs> we would then come before the Board of Aldermen for a conversation about, uh, about the actual direct usage. I'm hoping that we can do that this spring. As there is a time sensitivity of using the money, we need to have the money committed uh, in 2024 and fully spent by 2026. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, <coughs> Alderman Gouveia. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just a quick question. I'm looking, so the value is not to exceed 200,000, is that correct? That's correct. And the bid shows that it's for 215.760. So did that price go down or? We negotiated them down. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Alderwoman Clee. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, thank you, Director Cummings. Um, I appreciate you doing this with the consultant and so on. Um, I can uh, honestly say that I've spoken to some of my counterparts throughout the state who have actually already basically obligated, spent their money and so on. When I ask them about the interpretation of certain aspects of it that are quite confusing, they said, well, we took our best guess and we're just keeping our fingers crossed that no one comes back at us afterwards. So I appreciate that you're not putting Nashua in that situation and that we're going to have a consultant that will be, uh, I hate to say on the hook for it, but, but basically will be the one who will be guiding us. Through. So thank you. Thank you. Now, I think Alderman Moran has his hand up uh, via Zoom. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just have, um, through you to uh, Director Cummings, um, the $200,000, does that, it's going to a consultant. I'm assuming that includes the, the consultant's base salary, fringe benefits, and then maybe an admin cost to the consulting group? Yes, uh, if I may, Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, so you should look at this as a budget. Um, this is a budget that we are going to be setting aside um, time and material, but it won't be expended until authorized and uh, approved with the scope of work. Um, that is the way we decided best to set it up to be as conservative and as efficient as possible. So just because we're setting aside this $200,000 over the three or four years does not mean we would be using all that money. It would be on an as-needed basis, but it would encompass all their expenses, including their fee and any uh, additional expenses that would go along with uh, providing these services to the city. Great. Thank you, Director. Uh, anyone else? All right. I think we should call the roll because uh, Alderman Moran is uh, with his taking care of his kids. All right, so the motion is to accept and place on file. Uh, Alderman Clee? Yes. Alderman Camosa, yes. Alderman Gavea? Yes. Alderman Clemens? Yes. Alderman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Moran? Yes. Mayor Dantas? Yes. Motion seven passes. Zero. Thank you. Motion passes. Uh, thank, thank you, Mr. Mayor. And I just want to note that this is going to need full vote of Alderman approval as well. Thank you. Next communication from Kelly Parkinson, Purchasing Manager. Alderman Camo. Yes, thank you. I'd like to make a motion to accept, place on file, and approve the upgrade to the city's risk management software from Risk Master 7.1 client hosted to Assure Claims SAAS hosted to Computer Sciences Corporation in an amount not to exceed $39,232. Funding through Department 122 Information Technology, Fund 53142 Consulting Services, PY escrows uh, by roll call. And I believe Ms. Deshae is here on this. Good evening, thank you. Um, this software upgrade is a... Just for clarity, you should introduce yourself, please. My apologies. Jennifer Deshaies, risk manager for the risk management department. Um, this software, this purchase is for a software upgrade to our current system, Risk Master. It's our primary system in our office. We use it for 90% of our work. Uh, we've been operating with our current software for over 20 years. Uh, we can no longer at this point in time print from this software. The, the drivers are not compatible because of how old the software is. And in uh, addition to that, most importantly, we're no longer supported by the software company. Um, they've moved on from this version a long time ago and there is no more support. Okay. Uh, this is Jason Tui from the IT department. Uh, just to add to what Jennifer had said, uh, it currently resides on a 2003 server, which is no longer supported. Uh, the operating system is an XP operating system, which is also no longer supported. And uh, like Jen said, uh, the version of uh, Risk Master that we're on now, which is 7.1, is no longer supported. So uh, now that's been 20 years on that version of Risk Master, it's time now to uh, go to the latest version, which is the Assure Claims. All right, any questions, comments? Uh, Alderman Clemens. 20 years is a pretty good long amount of time to get, <laughs> to get utility out of a software. Right. So uh, I, I think it's time. Uh, all right, Alderman Camo, could you please call the roll? All right, the motion is to accept and place on file. Uh, Alderman Klee. Yes. 
Alderman Camozzi, yes. Alderman Gavea? Yes. Alderman Clemens? Yes. Alderwoman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Moran? Yes. Mayor Donches? Yes. 7-0. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Next item, communication from Kelly Parkinson, Purchasing Manager, Alderman Camon. Yes, thank you. The motion is to accept, place on file, and award the contract for aquatic invasive species control in the Nashua River to Solitude Lake Management in amount not to exceed $155,490. Funding through Department 181 Community Development Fund, uh, $3,790 from 53999 Other Professional Services, $75,850 from the New Hampshire DES Grant, and $75,850 from 54285 River Maintenance by Roll Call. All right. I'm Ms. Chisholm is here, I think, hiding behind the, the podium. Hi, Deb Chisholm. I'm the Waterways Manager in Community Development Division. I'm here to speak on that contract. This is an annual contract that we have. Uh, it is half, 50% of the contract uh, amount is supported by a grant from the Department of Environmental Services. Uh, and essentially, in a, in a nutshell, what this is, is uh, invasive species management using an herbicide in the Nashua River north of the Milf, uh, Mine Falls Dam uh, as well as the mill pond and the canal. And then we also tag on uh, algae treatment in Sandy Pond downtown. So this is the year where we're doing all three of those projects. Uh, the mill pond and the canal, we typically treat every other year. The Nashua River gets treated uh, every year. Um, and thankfully, um, now this will be the fourth year using uh, Solitude as the contractor. The contractor essentially is selected by the Department of Environmental <coughs> Services uh, for us. Um, I guess they want to make sure that if they're going to spend 50 percent, of, uh, pay for 50 percent of the cost that they know who's actually doing the work. And Solitude has done the work um, three years in a row for us and they've been, uh, they've been great. Um, so if you've taken a look at uh, the Nashua River, the mill pond and the canal, um, we've been pretty successful with, uh, with the herbicide application uh, so far to date. Um, and I will add, just as an aside, that uh, water chestnuts are also one of the primary invasive species uh, in the Nashua River. And we have not, to date, uh, paid to have any herbicide applications uh, to those. We do uh, annually, we do a couple of hand pullings in July and, uh, and August. So if any of you is uh, interested in coming on out, um, just let me know. All right. Uh, questions? Alderwoman Klee. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Ms. Chisholm. Um, yeah, I, I, I see your advertisements of the uh, Come Help Us pick the water <laughs> chestnuts <laughs> at a day and so on, and I, and I do recommend people getting out there if they've got kayaks and so on to kind of help and, and, and do that. Um, this contract, is this about the same that it's been in the past? I remember they were pretty typically stayed relatively the same. Has this increased much at all? Or? It, it has increased a bit, uh, and this year the, the overall amount is higher than last year because we've included the Mill Pond and Canal um, project to the contract this year. Um, but yeah, Solitude's prices have gone up a little bit. I, mean, mm, I want to say about 5%, okay. um, which is uh, understandable. Thank you. Yep. Other questions, comments? All those, oh, excuse me, could you please call the roll? Uh, so the motion is to accept and place on file. Uh, Alderman Klee? Yes. Alderman Camozzi, yes. Alderman Gavea? Yes. Alderman Clemens? Yes. Alderwoman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Moran? Yes. Mayor Donches? Yes. And it's 7 0. Um, thank you, Ms. Chisholm. Uh, <clears throat> next item is a communication from Kelly Parkinson, Purchasing Manager, Alderman Camo. Yes, thank you. I'd like to make a motion to accept, place on file, and award the contract for the library facility assessment to Design Lab Architects in an amount not to exceed $88,830. Funding through Department 179 Library Fund 53999 Other Professional Services uh, slash Bloomfield Trust Account by roll call. 
All right, so this was <coughs> pursuant to an appropriation made by the Board of Aldermen. Um, but we don't have anyone from the library here. I know they discussed this with the budget committee, but um, uh, it's basically to assess the condition of the building and what needs to be done. However, if you would like to hear directly from the library board, I don't think that this is, or library director, I don't think this is time sensitive. Uh, we could hold this if you wish. If not, you know, approve it. Anybody have a preference? Alderman Camo. I, I just have a quick question. I don't have a preference, uh, and you might know the answer to this, uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, looking at a couple of the, the documents that we were given, it looks like the bid was for uh, 82730. And then on the letter that we received from the library, it says the 88830. But then on the, uh, the bid itself from Design Lab, it looks like it's just a little bit higher at 95730. I'm just wondering what the discrepancy is. And there was another company that also submitted a bid, um, Dennis Myers out of Manchester. It looked like they had done some work on some similar buildings in Nashua, uh, Nashua Community College. Um, they did some work with Bishop Curtin. So I'm just wondering if there was a, a reason why we selected Design Labs as opposed to the Dennis Myers Corporation. Now the library board were, was the one, the group of people who interviewed these people and therefore those questions uh, would need to be answered by them. Okay. So since we do have those questions, I would suggest we hold this and make sure that the uh, director or someone from the board comes in next time around. So is there a motion to table till the next meeting? I'll make Alderman this motion. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll motion the table. Could you please call the roll? Alderman Clee? Yes. Alderman Camoes, yes. Alderman Gouveia? Yes. Alderman Clemens? Yes. Alderman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Moran? Yes. Mayor Donches? Yes. Motion Seven passes. Uh, we'll take that up next time. Uh, now a communication, I guess, to just be accepted, placed on file. If there's no objection, I'll just do that. Has to do with an emergency repair. Uh, unfinished business. Well, there is none. New business resolutions. There is none. New business ordinances. There is none. Record of expenditures. Altman, well, come out. Yes, thank you. I'd like to make a motion that the Finance Committee has complied with the City Charter and ordinances pertaining to the record of expenditures for the period from April 1st, 2022 to April 14th, 2022 by roll call. Any discussion? Uh, please call the roll. Alderman Klee? Yes. Alderman Camo is a yes. Alderman Gouveia? Yes. Alderman Clemens? Yes. Alderwoman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Moran? Yes. Mayor Donches? Yes. 7 0. Motion passes. General discussion, any general discussion items? Public comment, any member of the public wish to address the committee? Remarks by Alderman, any, uh, Alderman Klee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just wanna uh, mention something that I mentioned last evening. Um, I, I've seen it on Facebook in a number of War Three. Um, residents have been complaining about the darker water that they're seeing. Um, it is safe. Um, there's been controversy as to whether or not it was because of the sewer project affecting the Penachuk pipes. I've spoken to Penachuk. Penachuk is saying that it's directly because of their, um, they believe it's because of their flushing. And that if everybody just runs their water for 15 minutes, cold water, please, cold water, um, that it should clear up. If it doesn't clear up, call Penachuk. Even if you do get it cleared up, still call Penachuk, report that it's happened so they can keep um, tallies of the clusters that, that are being seen and so on. Um, if it is not cleared up, they can take a look at it. I can tell you personally from me, when mine lasted for an extended period of time, uh, I know a number of people in Ward 3 as well as myself, they come in, they pull your uh, meter so that you're not paying for it and they flush your entire pipes through your, your home to clear, to clear it out, and it does help immensely. Um, and then they'll put it back. In my case, they actually had to change my meter out because it was way too old. Um, 
and that, that's one of the things I wanted to say. But the important thing is from Mr. Ware and um, Panachuk is he said, report, report, report. And both he and I sound like a broken record because we continue to tell people to report. If you do like I've done and you filled your tub with hot water and you have this dirty water filled tub, um, you may have to drain your um, water tank. Um, because it means it's in your water tank. It's manganese is what it is, and I think Alderman um, O'Brien referred to it as tuberculation. I prefer manganese. <laughs> um, it, it is safe. Um, I personally would not drink it, but I know it, it, it's safe by EPA. And I just want to reassure all of our citizens there that when the water comes out of Penichok, it is 100% tested and very perfect and very clear, and they test it. So if you are getting any issues with your water, call Panachuk. Don't just get on Facebook and, and say this is happening. It's really important that we let them know. As they say, they can't fix something that they don't know. So if you are having a problem, call them. They're very good people. Um, and if you know you get someone who's having a bad day, um, just be understanding, because they're, they're, they have been wonderful uh, when we've called. So um, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. So out in front of my house on our little street this morning, there were four in the morning, there was a flashing light. Like, what is that? You know, like, who is this? Anyway, it was Penichuk flushing the, <laughs> oh, and, the and, fire hydrants. And, and I do want to add, for, for anybody, you can go onto the Penichuk website, and they have a little menu um, button. You just click on that, and flushing is actually one of the categories and if you click on that it will tell you where they've been where they're going so they've got little green spots they've got little red spots um, I can tell you that they've started um, from the Merrimack border all the way so they're heading into Ward 3 um, now and that's why we're seeing it but they'll be throughout the entire city in the next month or so and they do it two three four o'clock in the morning um, and they don't hit every hydrant uh, one year they hit the um, smaller hydrants, and the next year they hit the lar larger hydrants. So every year every hydrate doesn't, but a large call for water will bring, will dislodge this uh, manganese, and it will end up in your home, and it's nothing to be panicking or dangerous. It's just very disgusting to look at. Any other remarks by Alderman? Alderman, Alderwoman Clee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, motion to adjourn. All right, could we call the roll, please? Alderman Clee? Yes. Alderman Kamosi, yes. Alderman Gavea? Yes. Alderman Clemens? Yes. Alderwoman Timmons? Yes. Alderman Moran? Yes. Mayor Donches? Yes. And the meeting of the Finance Committee is adjourned at 7.22 p.m. <laughs>